And you are back on the tortoise and hare experience. Uh, welcome to a brand new shoe. A new shoe. Um, I don't know why I always say shoe like I that. don't get weird. <laughs> I don't, you you get these like fake accents all of a sudden. Well, I am an artiste. Are you? <laughs> Is that what you're calling yourself yes. now? I'm, I'm baffled by this word yeah. when it has any relation to you. Yeah, I'm an artiste and uh, I do things just, you know, you know what? I've been really like that. I'm a very um, kind of free flowing guy. Uh, I wing everything that I do. I don't know if that's you like wing? A, I wing. Now you're Asian? I wing everything. I, we? I, I should be Asian. You know what I mean? I'm as short as them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I am. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I enjoy, um, uh, what are those uh, uh, things? Sushi. I enjoy sushi. <laughs> uh, you know, sushi is awesome. <laughs> okay. Each fan. California rolls. Who knew that the Asians would invent a roll and then there'd be a state like right after it? It's insane. <laughs> You think that's how it went? Yeah. <laughs> no? <laughs> no? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't. Uh, brand new show. Uh, with us today, Max, uh, you have the pleasure of introducing our first, or I guess our guest, our first guest, our only guest. Our only guest today. <laughs> Actually, you're going to leave after this. So <laughs> kick you out. Story of my yeah, life. Yeah. Um, the very famous, the infamous Eden Fellman is with us today, and uh, Eden is, he's a man about town. He's a man about the world, actually. That's, that's I think, our explanation <laughs> for him. Welcome, Eden. Uh, thank you very much for having me. So, uh, as in every show, we always started off with an experience, um, and who wants to go first? Um, it's, it's usually me and Max, and then, then you'll go, uh, Eden. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's let, me, a, let me get a, yeah, a yeah, vibe so you, of what this is all yeah. about. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, but I'm, I'm sure you're a huge fan of the show if you listen, so you already know what it's about. Of course. Yeah, <laughs> uh, absolutely. I mean, it. I don't think I've missed an episode. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you can't miss an episode. Um, you know what? I think uh, I'll go first. Okay. Because you went first on our last show. That, wow, you keep tabs. All right. I do keep tabs. I keep tabs about everything that has to do with you. And um, Thank you. Yeah. And the way you, that you process information, because every time I give you information, <laughs> you turn it around and make it into something else. <laughs> well, I'm an so, artiste. Yes, I see. I see. No, it's fabulous. It's, you know, it's all Turtle Land. It's yeah. good. <laughs> Turtle, by the way, TurtleLand.com. <laughs> Turtle you got to go buy that. <laughs> dot com. Um, lots of things have been going on in uh, the world of Max. Um, so, Danny... My daughter, everybody know you all know Danny. Come on, DannyShaka.com is uh, we're going to do WonderCon this weekend, and that's in the lovely Anaheim, California. Um, I believe it's the 23rd through the 25th. Of Are you going to be there all days? We are going to be there all days, all night. Um, I don't think. I think it ends at seven. They do the Nam show or the the Nam at that uh, convention center too, right? Yes, so they you're, do. You're really I'm very, familiar. I am very familiar with that. It's you that know venue. it's set up a little bit different. I will be in Hall B, uh, table D twenty three, because I am an information hooker. Right. And <laughs> Hall B, <laughs> table twenty three. Tables. You know D what? Like I, I would, I would always think that like. The, the convention center would change like, you know, because like Hall B just sounds just like so just like, you know, pedestrian. Yeah. Like I like I would figure they, they would they should like spruce it up and be like, I'll be in the model hall. Or, <laughs> no. You know what I mean? Or in it the, should be like the Odysseus Hall yeah, or something uh, like that, you know, something like fancy, there, huh? fancy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, but instead it's like I'm at Hall B. Like uh, let's yes. spruce it up, man. Hashtag artiste. Um, <laughs> You know, like, well, you contact them and you have that layout <laughs> just to redefine. I, yeah, again, people have to then listen to me. You know, yeah. like people find it very hard to listen to me. I don't know if it's because just the way I am, or they don't want to, or maybe because I make too much sense. Yes, sometimes. Yes, but too much I, sense. Yes, you make too much sense. We cannot deal with this. this uh, you way. know, I feel right when you said that. You know, that Instagram has like this little music thing that happens when you do a, a shot of a picture and it's like 
Dun, dun, dun. That's what we yeah. need every time that you say that. Okay. <laughs> the yeah. artist. Dun, dun, dun. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. That'd be I cool. Know. Yeah. So, um, so my experience. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> gotta, get, gotta get to the experience. <laughs> so my experience is um, I've got a few new films out and extremely excited about them because they're doing really, really well in the box office. Um, so... Please go out, see those films. Uh, Hell's Kitty, Death House, Astro is about to release, and um, Grind Exploitation, which I didn't mention on our last show, um, which is a trauma film, and everybody knows the great Lloyd Kaufman and of trauma films. It's, you know, world famous, uh, campy kind of nonsense. So that's out on all platforms to rent, I believe. So I think it's on the Netflix and the Hulus and all Amazon that. and all of that kind of stuff. And on YouTube Red, who you, like, who, yeah. who the fuck is watching YouTube who Red? Watched, I don't know. What why, is YouTube why, Red? Why what would is they that? watch YouTube Red what when is YouTube is free? <laughs> you know, know what I mean? It makes zero sense. <laughs> YouTube, have, contact us. <laughs> no clue <laughs> what <laughs> any of that is. Next show. <laughs> Guys, we're on YouTube Red. <laughs> we are on YouTube Red. Yeah. <laughs> who watches you? I don't Everybody, know. Come on. Come on. Let's jump on YouTube Red. <laughs> But you know, <laughs> so I have a question for you, Turtle. Yeah. Um, so you know, when I do these shows, I I just dress as me. Yeah. But a lot of people have been asking, like you did before the show, what I was going to dress as. And I mean, do, do you think that I should dress up in like cosplay? Uh, cosplay, yes. But like, I, like I would like for you to be like like. There's two different types of cosplay. You know, there is the campy cosplay, but then there's like the cool like cosplay that's that 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 you're kind of dressed up and you, you don't know if it is cosplay or not. Like kind of like Carmen San Diego, you know what yeah. I mean? Where, you know, she's like really dressed up. She has the Carmen like like because that, like that's a, a two layer costume. Cause you Nobody have, wants to see me in layers, Turtle. Well, I. Well, <laughs> but here's the thing: like you walk that in, that'll hurt my money. <laughs> l- like you walk in as Carmen San Diego with the trench coat and the hat. How about just the trench coat and some heels? Uh, yeah, but then you take it off, and then like you, you could be like your own, you know, thing. You know what I mean? Like it's like a costume within a costume. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So, uh, I see where it's going. Yeah, with this. all right. Yeah. I, you know, you know, possibly. Just be like a trench coat flasher. That, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. flasher. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> you that save the day and then you flash everybody. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not going to happen. And I will have security. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, all the more reason to. You, you have security so no one's going to do yeah. anything. No, no. But people enjoy the moment. Yeah. They would enjoy that <laughs> moment and I would have to bury my head forever. No, you wouldn't. You, dude, you'd be a, a internet sensation. I'd, you I'd would trend. Legend. You know? I'd be like, an artiste. Yes, no, no. Be dun, dun, dun. no. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be a flasher. Or <laughs> slash artiste. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Don't go flashing okay. anybody, no, no. seriously. Okay. That's Only me. So. That's fine. I'm fine. Well, if you guys think that I should dress in, in some sort of cosplay, then let me know. Because Danny's going to be in cosplay the whole weekend. And I feel kind of weird when I, you know, I'm, I'm sitting next to her and she's, you know, dressed as Harley Quinn or whatever. And, and I did once, I did... Uh, um, Pris from Blade Runner, and okay. but that was very drafty outfit. It was like awesome. tiny. Yeah, awesome. you guys can look. Girls that up later. love tiny. I mean, girl guys love girls in tiny outfits. Yeah, so uh, but you know, part of our true. DNA. I, I'm not. I'm not a fan of the tiny outfits and lots of fans around. Well, this, but is that why you're there That's, to meet the fans? Yeah, like, but you know, it, you know, there's only when they come and and we are taking photos and everything you know they're touching me and if i'm in less than nothing then that's a little uncomfortable you know i don't want to upset their wives or their boyfriends <laughs> let's face know. it they're going to WonderCon. they have no wives they have no <laughs> <laughs> it's so not true. It's so not- and it's all guys let's face out. it there's no girls at the, <laughs> at the oh, WonderCon. <laughs> No, no, no. I'm just kidding to all the girls that do go to WonderCon. I actually haven't been to WonderCon yet, and I'm I'm really thinking about going this weekend. Yes, so, you yeah, should. I definitely want to come and at least one. Would you dress up? Say hi. I definitely would not dress up. Not, <laughs> I know, like, not. I, I love to dress up for Halloween, right? Yeah. Like I've done Wolverine. I've done like some really cool costumes. Um, that, but no, I would not dress up for. Uh, 
Darn. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> Turtle, would you dress? Uh, yeah, I already, I do. I have the perfect outfit uh, to go to WonderCon. Would, would I'd be have? I'd be Fry from Futurama, man. Yes. Uh, it's it's the easiest costume ever. That or uh, uh, Morty, you know, from Rick and Morty. Morty. How would yeah. you do the hair for Fry, though? I wouldn't. I would just hit <laughs> Oh, you got to put, like, some sort of orange wig on or something, man. Come on. He's, like, got that yeah. big orange poofy hair yeah. I would, maybe i just spray my hair orange you know what yeah, I mean? I, yeah. well you'll That's have to it. call billy weston and ask him for like a voice track that you can like no i just i just i just care i just be like no billy west you i'm just gonna open my mouth and then you talk you know <laughs> <laughs> just like <laughs> then he will talk for well, me you'd have to like the Hashtag recording artiste <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, look, I'm Fry, and I have Fry's voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The real life thing, you know? No one's life. done that. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. You just play it every time for someone like, hi, I'm Fry. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? You know, some, some sort of, I don't know exactly what it is. What's going on right? at the WonderCon? Yeah. What's up, WonderCon? We're going to have to call him. Yeah, that'd be cool. I yeah. wouldn't mind that. Um, we love Billy West. Yeah, yeah. So, And it's, it's an easy outfit. It's just a... Like a red members only jacket, a white shirt, blue jeans, black, uh, black shoes. And, and Morty is just a yellow shirt, blue jeans, white shoes. Boom. Yeah. It's like, they're, they're yeah. Pretty simple. It, you know, very simple. But again, I think with Morty as well, uh, well, I guess more Rick, never mind. It would come down to the hair. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. If you saw Rick dress like, and like you saw the lab coat and everything like yeah. that, it really need the hair. I mean, yeah. it's a. And a lot of people are dressing like that this year. Oh, I bet. A lot. I bean, that so <laughs> That's a big thing. Yeah. Rick and Morty. Yes. And by the way, the people that uh, make Rick and Morty, feel free to uh, include me into any show, uh, any um, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm available. <laughs> uh, Mark Doty is friends with those guys. Shut the fuck up, Razor. Yeah. Yes. Oh, get the, I'm gonna call Mark Doty immediately. Yeah, yeah. you should. You like, should. you need to put. No, I'll be like, they come on the Tortoise and Hair Experience podcast. <laughs> like, yeah. that's a little like episode. That's just where it starts. That'd be hilarious. That me and you are in it. See. Yeah. Um, see, it's yeah. perfect that way. So, what's your experience? Okay. So, um, so as you guys know, I, I I go to the movies. We just had like a real quick movie talk uh, a while ago, and uh, every now and then I leave from work and I drive a bike. Now by bike i mean a bicycle so you drive a bike or I you bike, ride I, a bike i buy I, I i humanize uh the uh equipment <laughs> you know <laughs> Indeed. Uh, in the california yes in in west covina california um and so uh the movie theater i don't I, you know what I, I don't know if this is just a west covina california thing or like uh all theater thing but like now all the movies are 675 anytime anytime what? of the day any the, are $6 no. yeah not here except except for because <laughs> this is like 20 bucks really but except yeah. for 3d movies maybe like 3d movies but any 2d movies uh i believe and don't quote me on this even when it's is this like released, a porn theater or something? no no <laughs> this is this is an edwards theater trust you <laughs> right right where i live so that's another reason why i go to the movies a lot because it's really affordable um and so i'm like all right yeah sure i'll see this movie or you know what i mean like uh, like something will catch my eye like like i saw the the movie that like uh probably everyone's like you want to go see the darkest hour and i'm like yeah you know i'm gonna go see uh you know um uh the, the guy uh that that one guy played that one guy you know he, he does an amazing job <laughs> you know did you like the oh darkest commissioner hour? gordon playing um commissioner gordon plays winston churchill in that and uh, Commissioner Gordon does like a great job of it, so I'm just like oh, Commissioner what? Gordon from Gotham, uh, uh, from the movie, from Batman. Oh, from the movie? Batman the movie. Okay, well, because uh, yeah, I didn't know if you were talking about like oh, I guess it's police officer Gordon. Yeah, because he's not commissioner yet yeah, in Gotham. Not commissioner yet, yeah, yeah. Officer Gordon. But <laughs> by, by the way, uh, spo Gordon. spoiler alert: he becomes commissioner. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we just ruined it for a Fuck, dude. Fucking eat it. No more Batman. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I'm, I am I forgot what movie I went to go see. I, I went to go see a movie that I really wanted to go. It wasn't that one. Um, and uh, so I take my bike, and, and uh, they have a parking lot uh, bike stand there, but it's kind of like hidden. So I leave my bike there, and I come back out after watching the movie. And they stole my bike seat. <gasps> no way. Dude, okay, so. See, uh, that's what happens in West, West Covina, Covina, Cal California. Man. No, that's what happens. <laughs> Remind me not to go to West Covina. Yeah. California. <laughs> California. 
<laughs> yeah, you can go to any other West Covina, just any, not the one in California. Uh, no, that was awful. Wow. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Actually, no, I West did. Covina, we love you. I was actually out in West Covina quite often when Get I was younger. Get the fuck out of I here. was, yeah. My, my daughter lived out that way for okay. a while, so I would actually go visit her. So you're very familiar with the area? Very familiar with the area. Okay, and yeah. And the traffic that goes with it. Yeah. Wow. To get out there. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe they stole your seat. How did you ride home? Oh, that so must have been painful. Well, wait, wait. It gets even crazier. The, okay, you you know the 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 okay, like your bike has an inner tube, for, right on the wheel. Yeah, like the the little they stole those too. What? Really? What the fuck are you gonna do with wow. like the the wheel like the the inner, the, the, the inner tube fucking caps? It was like really. What? How did you ride it back? There's no way you rode it back. Like, well, yeah. I mean, I could I could write it back. I just had to like stay up on it and just like yeah. I can't that imagine wanting to sit down and get a little surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? Like who, who, this fucking animal? Like oh, how dare gosh. you? You know, or who or whoever? I'm like, what the fuck? Just and and the thing is, is my my uh, bike seat on purposely. I got it very pink. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, nobody would want it. No, who the that? fuck is gonna want a pink fucking you know right. thing? And fucking, of course they fucking jack. And I'm like, fuck, dude. Someone's little sister was really wow. happy that day. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, Aww. yeah. So I was. I'm sorry, dude. I was like totally just like like fuck. Like you were I, seat raped. I was. I, I just couldn't believe that they would steal all that shit. And I'm like, fuck, dude. Now I gotta go buy a fucking brand new seat and. Be all paranoid and everything, you know. Just like I like I loved riding. I I still ride my bike, but I you know now I don't even take it to the movie theaters. Um, I I believe it's somewhere where I know people are gonna be. But I, I just felt like fuck, man. Like, what are we as a society where we're just stealing? And not only that, but like I I read all these reports and th th like the police like seized like this bicycle ring and they had like a thousand bikes. Wow. You know, and it's That's just awful. And it's just like, like the, everybody has a thousand bikes, but yet, like nobody, I never see anybody riding. Right. You know, maybe it's because everyone's stealing everybody else's bike. I don't yeah. know, but it's just like holy shit. I, I mean, to be caught with a thousand bikes, though, think about how many they've probably sold already and that yeah. they've actually had go through their hands. Right? It's been, pro it's probably quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but even what, what's the average price of a bicycle? Is it around like four to five hundred bucks? It, yeah. I, I, get, I don't know because I found, like, I love the internet because you can find bikes for 45 bucks. And it was oh, really? probably your bike. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I bought my bike. Oh, I got a deal. <laughs> so I, I was I was going um, to, I'm really weird with, like, like buying stuff for friends. So, cause, like, sometimes I just want to buy stuff. I have, like, maybe, I guess, hidden intentions. Uh, so I'm like, man, I, I gotta, I, I want to buy a bike. I was like, fuck, but I'm gonna buy two bikes because then I could give it to my best friend, and then we can go biking <laughs> together and have biking adventures. Because well, I mean, that's kind of sweet. Yeah, yeah so, that's a nice thought. Yeah, so you know, I bought two bikes. So I, so because I bought two, I got them for like sixty bucks. Two for sixty. So that's, that's awesome. That's a great deal, dude. Yeah, yeah I no, go to bike amazing. stores and they're like. Like five hundred to a thousand dollars. Yeah, if you want a really good bike, I mean, it's a thousand to two thousand bucks. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, I mean, this was like a like I think it's like a BMX or something like that. I mean, it's wow. it's a really good bike. The bikes that I got were were amazing. They were just like, yeah, we don't bike and uh, it's just taking up room. We just really want to get rid of it. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. You know what's are... the amazing part of that entire story is the fact that you have friends. I, well, I did. <laughs> well, you see, he has to bribe him. He has to buy the bikes. I mean, you know. like, come on, man. I don't know if that's a friend, exactly. It's and more like never, someone you rent. Yeah. You know? We never even went biking. You know, <laughs> know what I mean? It was just me. Because you know? I have all these great biking adventures in my head that I want to do. Aww. And you know what I mean? Like, oh, let's. You know, I'm like, hey man, that's really disappointing. I'll tell you what, I'll go biking with you. Sometime. You swear? Yeah, yeah, will you give me a bike? Yeah, fuck, <laughs> dude, do it. Do it. <laughs> nice. I can get one for like 25 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> it's gonna be like the wheels loose it makes yeah, a squeaky man. sound it pulls you're gonna be that kind yeah. of bike oh, yeah. okay. I see it already yeah but it, yeah. but it's a bike and it works yeah. uh, right you technically know? it works yeah it's a bike. exactly then we can go on amazing biking adventures I'm telling you <laughs> I'll be falling down mall and you know trying to like my wheels going to the right yeah I have I um I swear to god this happened I r almost ran over um Harry Potter 
Daniel Radcliffe. Really? On Mulholland. On a yeah. bike or in your on, car? He was biking. Or on a broom. Oh, he, <laughs> <laughs> he was biking and Danny and I were driving and he he kind of swerved and I had to like quick move the car or I would have run him over. And Danny's like, she's yelling all these like Harry Potter. References. You know, no, he's like, get on the uh, sidewalk Yoso or whatever. <laughs> No, yeah. You know, spells. what are they called? Spells, yeah, incantations. Whatever. Incantations, um, yeah. Yeah, so she was doing that out the window. As, <laughs> she's like, Mom, you can't kill Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. Technically, he's already dead, or I, is he? <laughs> hey, now I really <laughs> actually haven't seen the last like, <laughs> oh, Potter movie before a couple of oh, so you might really blow it for me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Man. Oh. I mean, uh, he's cool. He's cool. He's, cool. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's all right. He's all right. Freaking spoiler, dude. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Um, sorry it's cool <laughs> it's cool but but that's you know what um you know i'm not i don't want to speak for all the bikers but i will <laughs> it's like look uh that th that's a it's a thing man like people do not pay attention to people on bikes you know th there's so many times where i truly enforce the well if a bike is a is truly a humanized vehicle then i should be on the street but so many cars gave me so much shit they're like you belong on the sidewalk Blah, blah, blah. And they're just like cursing at me. So I'm like, fine. All right. You know, I'll give in to this peer pressure. I'll be on the sidewalk. So now I'm on the sidewalk. But, but you I'm get a ticket for riding on the sidewalk. Well, then I'll be like, then you need to ticketize like all these cars for like trying to like, you know, for like forcing me to do this. And um, I, I've seen a lot of guys uh, on, on, on bikes like trying to cross, you know, the, the sidewalk and cars like hit them because they're not, sure. they're truly not. So it's like. You know, I, I see the duality in both sides as a driver and as a uh, bicyclist. So I, I always just tell people just be more constant of people on bikes. Like, like they don't have you know blinkers or anything, so you really don't know where which direction they're going. So you should always just be cautious uh, whenever seeing somebody uh, on a bike and just you know over overanalyze and just be cautious because like people get hurt. There there are times where I'm. I'm crossing the sidewalk and a car is already making a, a left or a right and like going to hit me. And I'm just like, what the hell, dude? You know, I'm like, I have the right of way, you know, and I am in the the, the crosswalk. So technically, you you know, you you have to wait. You know, so many people break so many of the of the of the quote unquote laws here in California of driving. I've seen so many people make turns on like solid yellow lines. You know what I mean? And it's like, dude, that's a solid yellow. You're not <laughs> supposed to, but we all overlook it, you know? And I'm yeah. like, you know, it's like, come and on. those little mistakes could lead to, you know, bad situations. Exactly. So, you know, okay. I, I see your point. Um, you know, I, I, I will say this though. I'm a little bit guilty of kind of pulling out, but I'm always cognizant of like when people are crossing it, but sometimes a bike will like try to make the yellow going red yeah. light. Right. And they think cause they're on bike, they can go faster and they do. <laughs> and, right. But, but so I'll pull out a little bit. And if I see them coming, which I usually do, I'm pretty good about observing the road. Um, I just see like, you know, I pull out and get start to make the turn, but then kind of acknowledge, I hey, look, I see you. Don't worry. Yeah. Like, you know, I try to give him a look or something. Yeah. Hopefully I'm always like this. I'm sorry. Yeah. As she's running over the bike, she's <laughs> yeah. like, oh, my bad. <laughs> Was that supposed to happen? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know, I don't have any peripheral vision, you know, on the sides. So. Oh, I'm so glad you drive now. <laughs> <laughs> I drive fine. But sometimes, you know, they get in that little blind spot and you're just like, oh, shit. You yeah, know, the, those are pretty big uh, yeah, I didn't even spots. see you there. I didn't, and you know, now I get the what are you doing? It's all right, yeah. I, n I have not killed anybody, okay. That we know, awesome, of. Like, <laughs> that we know of this week, yeah. <laughs> you know, I know we, we've, we've talked about this billions of times, so make this a billion to one. But uh, me and Max used to record, um, a long time ago the show in the Ho too. We love this, the, the place. But we never had a green room or like a, or what's the thing called? A green room. Green room, right? A slash, um, what's that where, the, where you get food and stuff? What is that called? Like kitchen. Kitchen, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, like I come here and like we have like food. There's like, I, I was walking, I see like the, this peanut, there's a dark chocolate bar and a peanut butter bar. And I was like, fuck, can I get them both? And I'm like, no, I got to be nice. So I, I was like, oh, I got to get the peanut butter. So I got the peanut butter bar. So that's why that's why yeah. I'm all crunching right now. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. Is it good? 
Oh, it's yeah. the only time he eats is when yeah. I feed him. Oh, it's true. Yeah. It's true. That's, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's a very good cook. Yeah. But, you know, I, you have to come over pretty often. Yeah. I this, this is the, like, seriously. Starving to death. Well, I'm a starving <laughs> 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 The things you do, the sacrifices you make. <laughs> well, like, 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 the food that I eat is extremely bare bones, you know. Um, I eat rice, lentils, and peas. That's, that's uh, a protein mix that I created. And then meat. And then, um. Like, I, I don't know how you guys look at food, but I look at food as um, like this is this is as as a not a luxury item, but a necessity. Sustenance. Basically. Yes. Sustenance. Mm-hmm. That's the word I'm looking for. Thank you. Eden. No problem. Um, so like I don't buy like like I look right there. I see Vandy Camp's donuts, the powdered ones. Stay away from I'm those like, donuts. Fuck. Somebody will, will kill <laughs> you. I was, like, I was like, you know, the last you time I had those. I'm like, you know, the last time I had one of those, I'm like, fuck, those are good. You know, I had a cookie, like a, a gluten free cookie, and I'm like, oh my god, a cookie. Like, <laughs> you know, like I like because I guess uh, another thing too is just like if if that if those items are not in front of me. At my house, I'm not going to eat those. I'm not going to, you know, be, I'm not going to do that. So that, that's kind of another reason why I just stick to just having like just regular, like all these different types of not, I don't want to say healthy food because I, you know, what food is healthy? I'm know. trying not to eat solid food anymore at all. Now that there is this <laughs> Tioch Macho, holy cow. What up? Serious. I'm like, it's. I don't know if you guys know about gazpacho, but it's like cold chilled soup. And this has like, you can take it in a bottle and go on with your day without having to like chew. It's I'm a all in. meal in a bottle. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is. That's it's pretty like, amazing. Damn. Gazpa- I love that. Gazpacho always reminds me Gazpacho. of um, the, the Simpsons episode <laughs> where Lisa gives up like meat. And so Homer's having a barbecue with like this pig, you know. He's roasting a, a a pig, and she's like, "Don't worry, everyone. I brought plenty of gazpacho for everyone." <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "What the fuck? I'm gonna eat gazpacho? Oh, hilarious! It's delicious, and you shouldn't eat meat." Oh, I love meat. Oh yeah, me too. It's, I am such she's, a carnivore. She's outnumbered over here. Yeah. on each side, we got her flanks. Yeah, right. it's so difficult, you know, at night because like Danny's all into the meat. And Is she meat, really? Yeah, she's just yeah. I didn't, I, I didn't pick her for one of those. I thought she was like one of them no. vegan, no. range-free people. That's me. Well, yeah, She's but like, like, let's kill the cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I mean, drink I, its blood. Just when I like <laughs> Danny, I couldn't. I like even love her even more. No. <laughs> okay, it's Danny's how could she vegan. Get even better. I know. Oh, no, look at this. <laughs> she eats meat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to keep her away, him away from Danny. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, our, she, our she only happy, eats yeah. seeds. That's it. Just <laughs> <seeds>. <laughs> yeah, I had one of her cookies, Tub. At first, I it's funny. At first, I bit into it, and I'm like, "This isn't a cookie. This is a fucking rock." <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the the problem with um when you bake gluten free stuff. If you don't put the preservatives yeah. in it, you know, you you have to eat them yeah. right away, or you have to put them uh, like so. heat them up. Yeah. So most hard. gluten-free stuff I've tried has been really just too hard to really chew. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I sit there and I just make, I, I chew it like 10 times and I'm still like, it's I a little can't swallow. <laughs> like this is not working out for me. Yeah, <laughs> it's, really <not> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a little little on the cardboardy mm-hmm. side, but you know, it's better for you. It's an acquired taste. Yeah. I'm know. celiac, so I, I have no choice, but right. you know, but it, dietarily, that, that is a word. Um, look it up, Turtle. I know you don't speak English, but they have um, uh. like. <laughs> As you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. Um, yeah, sure it was. Yeah, Max. <laughs> it was not. No, but when uh, gluten is really bad for you in many, many different aspects, um, you know, health-wise, it just, there's... The GMOs in wheat now is just insane. It's insane. So it's a very unhealthy thing to do. Okay. Anything that's white, you should just cut out of your diet. Oh, man. Flour, sugar, <laughs> anything that's white. <laughs> women. Yeah. <laughs> women, for sure. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> thank goodness I'm not white. Mind, which is now, I'm not going to share. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we shared our experience with 
Right. Do you <laughs> have Eden? So my experience. Hmm. Uh, okay. So just just give me some clarification. So the experience. Could be anything in, could be in anything. your life. Yes. All right. So. I'm going to peacock a little bit, I guess. So this is... Uh, you you know, own a uh, peacock. I own Got a peacock. It. That's an experience. He wants to be a peacock. My, I'm going to do some cosplay. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> this is a, it was a surprise, but my experience is going to be peacocking. Yeah. Flap your feathers. Oh, you're a great feather, <laughs> feather flapper. I was going to walk around with just feathers on my arms. It's it. a good gonna, look. Thank you. That's what's in. Appreciate that. <laughs> Um, Are you right. a millennial? <laughs> so, so this is going back a, a few weeks now. Jesus. Uh, been almost uh it's about three weeks now so we did um we did our annual uh gala and summit on oscars weekend uh so it was friday and saturday uh before the oscars we did um the summit so it's called city summit Mm -hmm. now this is big because uh, like usually if it's called gala or summit in it it's 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 high end it's it's a big deal yeah, yeah, it, it's definitely a high end event. We uh, we bring out a lot of uh, top people in the business world as well as the entertainment world, um, and you know these are decision makers and these are people that uh, have influence throughout the world and and really have the ability to change it and they choose to change it for the better. That's kind of the theme of what we do, um, you know. So we're we're a for profit company that works on behalf of nonprofits. So uh, what that means is we basically do the event, we create the event, we bring in everybody, and you know we we give uh, a good portion of the funds to the nonprofits that we're representing for the year. So the awesome. summit, thank you, thank you. Do do you guys handpick these uh, nonprofits, or do they just come to you? It's a combination. We I mean we handpick them. We have actually a process that we follow to uh, vet them. Um, but you know, sometimes they come to you. Sometimes they're actually people that you meet along the journey, and you know they'll be like, "Hey, I just started a foundation, and you know it makes sense." Mm-hmm. Um, but you still have to we we do our due diligence to make sure that you know the funds are being appropriated the right way and that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah. you, know, you got to make sure that it's not some BS charity. I have a great charity for you, by the way. Do you? This is a. a- a organization that believes gluten should not be free. <laughs> <laughs> should charge extra for gluten. Is it to keep gluten captive? Exactly. <laughs> I've heard about that. Uh, <laughs> GCMO. <laughs> I was doing a, a signing in, in Portland and uh, Danny went with me and there was a restaurant and she's like, Mom, I want to eat at that restaurant. And I said, why? And she goes, look at the sign. I look at the sign. It says all the gluten. <laughs> like, what? All, all the, the gluten, gluten you ever want. All the gluten right here. <laughs> like, no. I'm in. Don't walk in there. <laughs> that's that's the name of uh, the restaurant, All Gluten. That should be the name. That's a great name. That's a terrible that's name. A that's name. a terrible <laughs> name. So what, what celebrities were at your event um, at the City Gala? Um, so we had, okay, so we had on Saturday uh, during the summit, we had Ashton Kutcher. Uh, 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 Ashton Kutcher? Ashton Kutcher. Kutcher. An artiste. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, he, he's an incredible businessman as well as a very philanthropic person. And, uh, you know, obviously he's a, a great actor and entertainer. Yeah. And, you know, he's Not very hard well known. Eyes. What's that? Yeah, and that was the first thing I thought. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Exactly. No, just kidding. Um, Butterfly effect. Whoa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I actually like that movie. I did too. I like I like it. It. For as much as people funny. dislike it, I like it. I okay. don't like the dog thing, though. Oh, I, that was that, crazy. That messed me up. The dog thing. The, dog in thing? the very beginning is like the whole dog I kind of for- thing. Got yeah, watch part. it again. Okay, I, yeah, I, I can't. I'm going to cry. Anyway, so uh, we had Ashton Kutcher um, headlining at the summit, and uh, he did a great job. He really came out and represented very well. Um, and then on Sunday night at the gala, we had Matthew McConaughey uh, delivering Matthew the, the McConaughey. keynote. Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all, right, all, right. <laughs> all right. He got that all night long. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. People were shouting that out from the audience and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, like, it was like, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> after a while, you're like, come on, guys, enough with the impressions. Enough. <laughs> um, no, but it was, it was a great time, and we did some really good work on behalf of eight different foundations. So it was really a successful weekend, and, uh, you know, it was just us to be a part of it and see what it's blossomed into what's grown yeah. into and you've been in, involved with that since the very beginning of it absolutely yeah, yeah so that's uh, an amazing Ground thing floor. that you guys are doing yeah, I, we we actually started it as a uh, as really a, a three-man show um you know and now we literally have i mean of course we had you know on the night of the events and stuff like that and we only did one night when we first started in year one mm-hmm. um 
but we we had a bunch of volunteers and stuff. But now it's like for three days, and then we actually do like a day before the three day start, which is on a Thursday night, and so and that's a dinner for our VIPs. That's four days straight of just pretty much no sleep and just working your butt off to make sure this thing does right. right? Yeah, or, you know, it's boot well. camp. It's yeah, you know. And then obviously the months leading up to it, there's a lot of work and a lot of uh, a, a lot of time and, and dedication they have to put into it. But it's definitely well worth it. And oh, I guess where I was going with that was. It started off as myself, Ryan Long, who is the the founder and the face of it. Ryan Long, why does that name ring a bell? Is he an actor? No, he's not yeah. an actor. Um, why does that name uh, ring a bell? Our, our good friend Dale Guy Boldo, who is a uh, he was actually started on the Mickey Mouse Club, okay. and with Justin and Brittany and that whole, or is it Justin and Christina, and that whole um, camp. And then um, you know he's been in just worked for about twenty something years now, and he actually ties into the other thing I'm going to talk about today. Um, but he is one of the foundations that we were representing this year, and he actually also has been a uh, supporter of ours since the beginning, and so they're aligned with us as well, him and his foundation. Um, where, where can people find more information about all this? Uh, so they, for the summit, you should go to citysummit.co. That's C-I-T-Y-S-U-M-M-I-T dot C-O. Uh, and for the gala, that's at citygala.org. That's C I T Y G A L A dot org. And you're dot org, so that's true nonprofit. You know, like yep. it's it's weird how the um, the internet divided those dot coms and stuff. It's right. like if you're Isn't a dot com, it? you're you know, you're you're a business. If you're a dot org, you're you know a fundraiser. You're a you know nonprofit type thing. And if you're a dot co, you're in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, um, yeah. So that's that's my uh, experience. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. There were some there were some great pictures from that event. Did you go, Max? Out. I didn't go. She was invited. I and I have gone to City Gala and right. Summit uh, before and um, have represented them and and worked with Ryan Absolutely. and, yeah, and she Eden. Did. And uh, you know, I I try to be. You know. She was very mm-hmm. helpful. Let me tell you something. Actually, she did a great job. Um, she helped us out in the first year, and she uh, she just really spread the message and got people excited. And she put her little Max Magic on it, you know. You know, or as other people like to call her Sam. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. But that we had it up at the Playboy Mansion, so it's like you oh, know, wow. going home and yeah. sh- and bringing my friends. You know, and having a party there. It was we actually awesome. did it with uh, Richard Branson and Petey. Uh, mm-hmm. So for me, that was a great experience because Richard Branson is a personal hero. The rebel mine. billionaire. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and Jane. Say rebel billionaire. Um, and Jane. Uh, oh, yeah. And Jane Seymour. Yeah. Um, and then we had Buzz Aldrin. for yeah. Yeah. Yeah, second yeah. man walk on the moon. Um, and uh, we had uh, Paul Canfold DJing. I mean, it was, a, it was a pretty awesome experience. Yeah. That was, that was your first event. That was our first. Yeah. 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 And, no, and we actually did the last event ever at the Playboy Mansion before it sold. So after that, there was nothing else to play with match, and it sold, I think, a couple months later. Yeah. Man. Yeah. We miss it. <laughs> yes. I actually uh, have been going to the Playboy Mansion since I was young. So as Max knows, you know, um, it was a big part of my life as yeah. well. You know? Yeah. Um, Eden is also an actor and okay. has many, many credits to his name, um, not to mention that he's from an acting family. Yes. Okay. So I actually, uh, I haven't acted in a while. I haven't worked in um, in that part of the industry in a while. Why? What, what, what um, was it? Was it the? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <I'm laughs> letting you finish. But, you know. <laughs> was it the silence? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I actually found like uh, around 13 years old. I will say I I kind of threw a fit and told my mom I'm done. Like, hey, I'm I'm done acting. I'm just gonna, you know, focus on what I wanna do within the industry or where if I don't want to be in the industry, whatever. This is my life. I'm gonna do what I want, basically. Um so in my family we all worked as kids, right? We were all actors. It was an acting family. Um, you know, my brother was a well known actor. He is a well known actor, uh Corey Feldman. Um so I uh you know, we we all naturally, intrinsically kind of just acted. That was the family business. So um, around 13 years old, I just kind of got sick of it. And I was just like, you know, all my time was going towards that. And it wasn't something that I was deeply passionate about. You so. just did it because everyone else was doing it. <laughs> Pretty much. Right? It was a trend. <laughs> it was a trend. I followed it. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I just, it just wasn't for me. You know, when you know something is for you or not, not. I'm definitely more of a producer by nature. You know, and, and I kind of knew that when I was young. I knew that uh, I wanted to do more behind the camera stuff. And I think that role defined as I got older. Wow. 
Yeah, definitely. Did you and Corey ever do a film together? No, we never did. We were actually eight and a half years apart. Mm -hmm. So I can't recall any, at that time in his career, I can't recall any projects that it actually would have involved a younger brother of my age. Mm -hmm. You know, I, and none of the movies I think of, because if you think about it, he was in his teenage yeah, he years was, most yeah, of the he time. Was and the he kid. was, yeah, he was always the kid. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I thought well, I tried to think to about that. do something now. Yeah, maybe we should. Yeah. <laughs> Power Sippy should put that in play. I'm trying you to think? think, how how would you go dress to a summit or to a gala? like In a tux. What are you talking really? about? That's well, tux, that's tux wear. To like... the gala, yes. You're supposed to wear a tux or at least a suit and tie. Yeah. A tie? Um, yes. What? Do you own a tie? <laughs> I've seen one on TV. Like... And then we're not talking about it when you wrap it on your head uh, after like yeah. 10 beers. You like, know? That's the artiste in me. I'm wearing a tie. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say how to wear it. <laughs> oh, man. That would be kind of fun. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny to show up with it just yeah. tied around your head. It'd be awesome. Man. Yeah, that's how you dress. Oh, you like man. actually dress, not wow. in turtle wear. Turtle wear. <laughs> yeah. I, I like this today, though. It matches. That's like a first. This was by accident. Today, I was running late because I had to take a dump, and I was just like, Fuck. And that <laughs> took like everything, Christ. which by the way, I was in your bathroom. I, I'm, I'm using, I, I don't know if that's the guest bathroom or not. Uh, Cause your other guest bathroom, there, there's some plumbing problems, issues that are going on, Yeah, which we all have had right now. My, um, my toilet is running, but it's, it's, it's crazy. It's driving me crazy <laughs> when I sleep. Cause it's like, it'll flush and then it'll not flush for like two hours. But then at the randomest time it, it flushes. I kind of feel like I'm in an aquarium when that happens. But anyway, <laughs> um, I go in to okay. use the restroom uh, during the break when the song was playing, and I see that you have like dude wipes, and I'm like, dude wipes, fuck yeah, you know, because uh, I'm a huge fan of the baby wipe. I, I love uh, to wipe my ass with baby wipes, you know. It's like when we're kids, why do we stop afterwards? You know, it's like, dude, yeah. this makes me I feel totally fresh. agree with that. I think it's a pleasurable experience, and it's just the hygienic. Yeah, you know, I, all around, it's a it's a win. Yeah. So I was, I, was I, I have nothing to say. <laughs> I mean, are you, I mean, they're there, so you must baby wipe, right? No, they're not mine. Oh, they're not yours. No. Oh, those are for no. guests. That's the guest bathroom. Those are dudes that like to come around her house. You know, okay, like got it. you know, I gotta make sure the dudes are clean. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. No, I I have my own separate. Oh, I thought that bathroom. was like everybody's. No, no, no. Bathroom. I thought this I was like an, the. Okay. I have a bathroom of my own. Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know. I was just like, oh fuck, Max, fucking baby wipes, fucking cool. You know. No. No, you don't. Okay. No, got I it. Don't. You I have that? a bidet. I'm like, do you? Know? I would love that's a dream of mine like a few <laughs> dreams owning a castle obviously <laughs> and uh having a bidet in there you know and I yeah. bidet all day you know so I was gonna ask you if this castle had to have like modern plumbing so clearly <laughs> that does, it does. <laughs> well yeah yeah it would have a, a room that's just like all leather you know what I mean it was, yeah I would have kimono dragons just because I can't get real dragons so I was like I'll get so, a kimono dragon uh, here's here's a, a terrible funny story that Danny will kill me if she Ooh. listens to this show well I'm glad we're putting it all over I the know, internet right? and on exactly. the YouTube and everything else so when uh, um, I bought my house in Florida it had a separate his and hers bathroom so it was like a, a massive bathroom and then there was an area for the man and one for the woman and in the women's part there was the bidet and danny is small and she walks in there and she's like oh a water fountain she didn't drink from it did no she? it's did just so close it? no oh, so close though i was like no <laughs> Thank God for that. Oh that God. would have been one of those stories that you just don't want to hear. No, uh, you know, ever, like, yeah, uh, especially like, like, why did you tell me why? that? <laughs> she's she's I always got my mad whole life without knowing that. <laughs> she's always mad that I talk about her on my shows. <laughs> you know, that's the price she pays for being my kid. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Jesse's like, you know, you never talk about me. <laughs> we're not talking about you now, Jesse. <laughs> no, we're not uh, at about all. You. Eden. Yes. Um, how do you spell your name? E D E N. You know what? I was thinking E D or E or an I, I D A N. Like, do, e have you ever thought oh, about e spelling it differently? <laughs> okay, so can I convince you to spell it differently? <laughs> I mean, maybe if you're really, really sweet about it, you know, I might. <laughs> then you become artiste. Like, hey, <laughs> this is my. Well, way. it's actually not an uncommon thing. So Edan is it's it's pretty much the same name as Eden in Israel. 
So one of my best friends growing up is a guy named Midan. Okay. And we were actually neighbors. And even, like, furthermore, we actually went to school together. And, like, we were, like, really, like, close friends. And it was Idan and Eden. And we still are really good friends. So when we go out, people are oftentimes surprised to be like, wait, Idan and Eden? Are you sure? <laughs> is that right? You know. Like, did you guys plan that out? Yeah. <laughs> of course we did. How weird are you two? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, um, yeah, he's not going to change the spelling of his name. Right. Well, I mean, I, it was worth a shot. No. We'll like that. Someone, someone, D-E-N. I mean, someone has to come also up with this. Also known these. as Kevin. <laughs> also known as Kevin when I order food, yeah. You're Kevin when you order food? Yeah, it's just too complicated to have to go over the name and the spelling. I've literally had to, like, sometimes Aaron, Evan, Ian, like, you go through all these different names, and you're just like, you know what? It's Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> You know Spell what? Kevin. Thank you, because I take a lot of phone orders too at work, and sometimes that's what happens. And I just give them a, a name. I'm right, like, right. It makes more sense, this. right? Yeah, but that makes like, more hey, sense. You're Todd when you come in here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Like you doing that, it just made everybody's life a thousand times easier. So. There you yeah. go. Thanks. So please, people, share this. You know, pass yeah. it on. It's yeah, a good see, deed. The, it's a good. You deed. know what you're doing right now? You're mentoring. A mentoring. I love that. Yes. That is. Awesome, great segue. Right? I know, that's <laughs> what I do. Um, so uh, Eden has this new platform that's uh, launching that's okay. amazing. Like today or like right So now? we've actually done a soft launch already. Okay. Um, I would definitely. Sounds weird. Biz like, talk. Biz so talk. Like, <laughs> hashtag biz talk. It's, it's, a, it's a soft launch, meaning like we haven't really 100% developed it to where we know it's going to go. But this thing is one of those things that's going to keep growing. And as it grows... Like, it, it's amazing the amount of people that want to be faculty and contributors. I want to be faculty. Okay, well, let's talk. <laughs> let's yes. talk. So uh, the concept is this, is imagine a community, a place online that everyday people who aspire to, you know, live their dreams and, and actually pursue this industry that we love so much, right? And um, a place where they can get, like, a 360-degree education, um, online, you know, via a couple different platforms such as like the internet, I'm sorry, the uh, website and the uh, app, right? So you're going to be able to... It's all about the app. Yeah, it's all about That's the app That's smart for doing sure. the app, yeah. You have to have an app these days if you're going to do anything. And, and it's amazing what you could do. You could just like mimic the website and have that version of it. Yeah. It's pretty simple. Um, but people are going to be able to come online and talk live with people who have had successful careers in every part of the industry and see how they tie in together. So we're talking about not just acting, we're not talking about just production or, you know, writing or whatever, we're talking about all of it. And then um, we also have another, so that's that's actually a brand called Entertainment Wisdom, which has not launched yet, but it's going to be a part of the overall, the Mentor Studio platform. I mean, where, okay. where, where could people go to this? I'm assuming there's like a dot .com or something. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, they would want to go to thementorstudio.com, and that's T-H-E-M-E-N-T-O-R studio.com cool and what what made you uh decide to do something like this i mean it sounds it sounds great especially with like the 360 aspect you know because a lot of the times it's it is true like uh i I see a lot of uh advertisements (laughs) i guess uh, like like about comedy you know like i not that i i'm a staunch comedian or anything like that but like you know I, i you know there's people like oh yeah you know you can uh you know, learn how to do comedy just, you know, by watching me do this or this, you know, but it's just like, there's more to it than that, you know, and just like with anything, there's more to that than just that one piece. What, what did you come up with a, um, like, did you just wake up uh, and have what like uh, alcoholics refer to like as a moment of clarity? <laughs> and like, Oh yeah. Like 360 would be great. <laughs> that, that would actually be a much better story. But, uh, no, 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 that's not how it happened. No, 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 I no burning bush. You know, yeah, like, yeah. Shoes were too that, tight. Yeah. Nothing that, <laughs> that inspirational came. and that, you know, monumental <laughs> happened. Uh, I mean, no, I actually, so it, one of the, People who one of the board members, uh, one of my fellow board members, is a man named Michael Silvers. Michael Silver, Silvers is a director for a company called Success Resources, and what they do is they uh, promote all of the Tony Robbins and Robert Kiyosaki events uh, internationally. Robert Kiyosaki. <laughs> I worked with that guy. That I, I did an event with him. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty amazing. Man. Yeah, he's pretty amazing. But I just love seeing his like Kiyosaki. <laughs> Sorry, they um, I haven't heard that name in a while. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I can tell it's obviously a name you're fond of. 
Um, so, so he actually had this, this idea and he reached out to me, uh, I'm, I'm truly the youngest and probably the least experienced out of the whole board. Which means you're the most experienced. <laughs> <laughs> um, the artist. I'm an artist, yes. Ah, uh, I am the artist. Oh, sorry. Artist you mean step on your toes. Sure. We're all artists. Yeah. We're all I thought artists. that was a label that we all could, you know, basket. Yeah. yeah we all um, I'm just, I, you know. So he reaches out to me and he says, uh, I have this concept and I want to bring you into the fold. And, you know, I, I want somebody who knows Hollywood, someone who can, you know, reach out to people and, and start to gather what we have call a faculty. Max is actually part of our faculty. Um, did, did, well, did you approach her or did? Oh, no, she approached me. She heard about it and she said, oh, I heard something awesome is going. No, I was kidding. Did you? Uh, <laughs> no, I, 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 of course I would. I, would. I approached her. I, 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 once I was, you know, on board and I said, okay, I'm into this. Let's do it. Um, I started to obviously go through people, you know, that I could think of that would be good for this kind of thing. Um, cause I want somebody who's going to be interested in helping others. Cause that's what we are first. We're an education first platform, but at the same time, like, you know, someone who can sit down and, and do a, we're, we're going to have these conference calls. They're going to be video conference calls and, you know, up to three, 400 people at a time you could do. Holy cow, dude. Yeah. So people are going to be able to sign in and follow a specific person that's their mentor and they're going to be if they're faculty they're on once a month right and if they're um if they're going to be contributors they're going to be on once a quarter so what that means is basically like your your basic membership is at a very very affordable 49 dollars a month and you can do it monthly or you can do it annually for 4.99 um but basically you you get a library of footage from you know these one-on-one -on -one conversations that we're we're having with all of our mentors um, and, and you're going to be able to see all that experience. Plus there's all kinds of, you know, archive stuff right. that we have, right? We have tons of content. So that's part of it. And then you're gonna be able to follow pretty much everybody. Mm -hmm. However, if you want to follow specific people, um, then you're going to, you know, it's, it's a nominal fee that you pay and then you be, you know, become their mentee. And so that's something that we're going to be able to get Which is, more is people. It's priceless. It's priceless in our industry to get that kind of information in one place and have the attention from a mentor like that, it's priceless. Not only that, but I mean, these mentors are obviously movers and shakers. So like when a project comes up, you know, and they've seen that person's work and they can like be like, yeah, you know what? Like, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, I can give we you a, a shot. We need a fresh yep. face and there what's, it what's is. What's really cool about that, and I'm glad you said that, is that that's exactly the community that we're also, you know, going to create. And I, I know it's going to happen because it's already happening. It's amazing that like people on our board, I'm already creating relationships, you know, bringing people in and introducing them to others. And, you know, one of my friends who's a really well-known Grammy winning DJ and producer, um, I hooked them up with a uh, entertainment attorney who's on the board with us, you know, so it's definitely happening um, and it'll happen on all levels. And that's what's really cool. So right yeah. now it's, it's more of um, the, the site is, is more of like uh, in the incubation uh, phase and you know as it grows development um, and it's development yeah, yeah. So it's definitely development like we we basically just said that we wanted to launch um you know right at the beginning of uh i'm sorry mid-march and we did that because we were able to from the you know website development side mm -hmm. of it so we just launched it and the theory is kind of that we're working with is like hey look we're just going to keep building as we go cool and we don't expect overnight there to be a thousand people you know but we do know with our incredible faculty and everybody who's really excited about this project we're gonna have you know hopefully a thousand or two thousand members by by mid june by right. june july and the quicker that you come on board the more information you get and the more attention you get personally before Absolutely. it's overcrowded yeah. so That's it's a great like, point yeah. you know get on now while you can definitely and max what, what are you going to be teaching just out of curiosity um, you know a whole because you're a 360 person in yourself, I, I so am. how she is yes, you know, so Where, like, what category do you fit in? Yeah, yeah I know, I, I fit know? in a lot of different categories, you know, music, film, stunts, um, all of those kind of different categories, healing, even and healing. Keeping, you're gonna teach, <laughs> well, here's the thing, <laughs> like, wait a minute, <laughs> no, but healing, healing is very important in our industry, and a lot of people don't know that they don't know how to deal with success. And or the the pitfalls of our industry, and it's keeping yourself balanced and aligned, and not falling into you know the drug phase or kind of led in in a bad direction because you're not strong enough. So kind of giving you the um, information and uh, tools 
to build yourself up so that you're ready for success. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, that's such a great point because one of the things that we really hope to accomplish is, you know, when people are interested to know, like, especially with all the scandals that are going on right now, right? And, you know, wh- where's that line? How do I know what to look for? Like, what right. are some of the signs? And Very we have important. plenty of people that are like yourself that have the experience and can share that experience with others. Um, and I think hopefully that will help prevent some of these tragic things that have gone on. Yeah, absolutely. Now, have you guys decided on, you know, every um, year or so, and this is just me just, you know, thinking on um, like, like releasing a, a movie with everybody, like not a movie, yeah. but, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like great idea. you yeah, right. know, like every year that that's the summer project within the community, all the communities have to, you know, uh, kind of like, you know, Gryffindor and all them, like they all mm-hmm. have to create something and then you guys all show it at the end of the year. It's not a bad idea, honestly. Yeah, you know? a great that's a great idea. idea. That way yeah, it puts yeah. people to work. You yeah, know? totally. I mean, I could definitely see that working. Uh, who knows? I mean, look, we're going to... that's like a future thing, yeah. obviously. And, and, and what's really cool, though, is we actually also have... So besides just the entertainment industry, you're still getting more on top of that. You're also getting mentorship from others in other industries so we have a great tax and wealth guy who's on our board um somebody who is uh, a, a phenomenal uh person at creating um llcs and and corporations and you know leading you in that right direction our entertainment attorney will give you counsel on you know how to it's yeah, all about your contracts career. how to sign them. yeah i mean you have to know these things and people yes you can go to an acting school yes you can go to film school but you're not going to know the whole business unless you really understand the business of show business yes. and that's what this is about yeah. Very cool. I'm very excited. Thank you. I, I'm, Thank you. Uh, I'm joining you immediately. Nice. I will be a, I will be a mentor, a mentee. <laughs> awesome. I'll do the 360. I'm totally. I'm, I'm totally going to be a mentee. Yeah. I, I really am. I Believe me, I'm already picking brains of people. Uh, trust yeah. me. You think if I can't get some, some tax tips, I'm going to go for it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, it's a dangerous business, and we got to watch out for each other. So. Now, is Absolutely. it is this all in consuming for you right now? Or are you doing anything? I mean, I'm not saying this isn't fun, but like, what? what I mean, do you have any downtime or anything like that? Or I yeah, mean, you just came off the gala, and now like you're 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 in this. Uh, are you are you doing anything? And it's because I, you know, not that I um, am, am this way, but I always like to keep busy too. But every now and then, I kind of lose myself in being busy, and I forget like the the purity that is sometimes just hanging out or just having fun. You know, yeah. do, do you do yeah. that too? Or is, is everything just too much, too new for you? And you're just uh, still kind of into that? Well, I, I say for this project, it's, it's still pretty new to me. But overall, I, I see where, what you're saying. And I do, um, I do find some time to like go out, you know, to the events, especially I go to a lot of uh, like my friends charity events. And, you know, they're, they're really nice, fun stuff that I do, right. Um, but I do like to take a day or two every now and then, every few weeks, and just kind of sleep, watch, you know, TV, Netflix, Hulu, stuff like that, play on the computer. What are you watching right now? Oh, man. So I, I uh, mm-hmm. just finished. Okay, I got to talk about this. So on Hulu, and I actually told Max about this, I just yeah. watched one of the best shows I've ever seen by the Cohen brothers, uh, Joel and Ethan Cohen, and it's um, it was Fargo. I don't know if you ever watched the show Fargo. No, no. I, I, I remember the movie. I remember seeing watching the movie. Yeah, that's what, exactly what it, I said, too. Yeah. So it's it's a show that I heard about when it came out. I just never really, you know, I don't watch things when they first come out, usually. So um, going back and watching it, man, it was, it's an awesome show. So well done. But besides that, the story is 100% true. And they actually state that before, um, as, it, as it starts each episode, they, uh, they just tell you, hey, you know, each one of these events actually happened. The story is told the way it actually happened. And so, especially season two, that story is the craziest story I've ever heard in my life or seen. Holy It's cow. insane. you got to watch it. Did I miss anything? Do you miss anything? No, I mean, that was, that was pretty thorough. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> We're always missing something. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Are you, are you missing the, the beautiful California weather? Um, a little bit, actually. Yeah. Max, what about you? Yeah, I wish it would sunny up already. Sunny I, I would up. take the like a term? sun minus the heat, I yeah. think, because like, you know, I'm, I'm still good with the temperature being in the yeah, 60s, 70s yeah. right now. But, but we're pretty lucky up in the hills because it's, you know, it's still a lot cooler than it would be down in the valley where the simple people lie <laughs> in the simple West folks. Covina, California. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, watch out. I'm one of those people. Yeah. All right. 
it's just awesome. I, I like being a local, you know, like it, it like uh, I, I, I like to think of uh, localisms like, yeah. Uh, yeah, like like um, I was I was at a bar and I was having coffee the, there and, it, you know, I love bar coffee. You know, it's just it's it's not gourmet. It's like Folgers or whatever. You know, it's it's really, you know, just it sits there all day. Yeah. Yeah. thing is like oh, nasty. They never wash it. it all yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but then I make it into iced coffee because I'm like, well, it's cold, so I'll just make it into iced coffee. That makes sense. And then, uh, the, the 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 new word that I'm into is like, I'm like, can I put some of that fancy cream on there? You know, so it's like French vanilla or like whatever. You know, the like fancy cream. Give me some of that fancy. Max cream. loves her fancy cream. <laughs> I yeah. do. You know, she's I a big do. fan of the French vanilla fancy cream. Well, yeah. no, I like the new one is the Irish cream. Oh, uh, so yeah. good. I yeah, that's my that's my little weakness. <laughs> Don't, yeah, don't tell anybody. The fancy cream. Nobody knows. <laughs> Get some of that fancy cream. It's, up. you know, fancy cream and sriracha. Those are my weaknesses <laughs> right fancy there. fancy sauce. Yeah, <laughs> it's the fancy sauce and the fancy cream. I didn't talk about combining the two. <gasps> oh, oh, man, man, that's oh, gross. that would be craziness. Mm, I might have to try that. <laughs> <laughs> that's gross. You never know. You never know. So yeah, it's, but, it's better than kombucha. Kim, oh, I like kombucha. Ugh. That's I, I like, like rottingness it's in the your right head. Kombucha. It's so gross. No, I'm not a fan. I'm it's not so a weird. fan. I, I mean, I'm a vegan, but I'm not a fan. Yeah, so weird. And you're you're and you're like super Hollywood and like like uh, Hollywood people would like like love that they bathe in it. You know, <laughs> that's that's on every right. Hollywood person's writer in a bath of kombucha. Kombucha, yeah, that's, that's yeah. a big bathing thing. I did not know. <laughs> <laughs> it just happened right now. Wow, <laughs> it's trending right you now. Just, you just made this it's up. It's crazy how fast things move nowadays. Jeez. Yes. So when you take your kombucha baths, please send us some pictures. <laughs> and we'll post them. That'd be great. That Hashtag. Be great. Then that's a competition to have, right? Yeah. There. Who's got the best bath. kombucha bath picture? <laughs> yes. Oh, the smell of that. That would just be yeah. horrific. Well, I mean, your skin would probably be nice. I don't know. Uh, I don't even know I what kombucha know. does. It's, I drink like it. Vinegar. But like, yeah. I can't imagine that would be good no for your clue. skin. That would dry you out. But, you know, whatever. Well, it's kombucha, you know, whatever. man. Does, does amazing things. From the insides, yeah, but yeah. So, turtle, you got any shouts? I have tons. Um, but before we do that, um, Aiden, do you, do you have any uh plugs? Yeah, so let me go ahead and just uh throw out those uh websites again. Um, oh, yeah, <laughs> that, how about yeah. that? Let's start with that, <laughs> and they'll also they'll be on our uh page, so you the can, notes, yeah, the on the notes. notes on the show notes, you can see them. Um, and uh, will there be links? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. You, be you click on the on the paper, and then it just flies you to the thing. Straight to so your, crazy how this works, man. Yeah. It's, it's fantastic. It's an interweb. This, this age we're living in. Right. Um, so to go for, uh, if you're interested in finding out more about the City Gala and City Summit, um, that is C-I-T-Y-G-A-L-A dot org. And City Summit is C I T Y S U M M I T dot co. And then um, coming soon, well, it's already launched, so you can go check it out. Um, but we're, we're up and running now at the Mentor Studio. That's T H E M E N T O R Studio dot com. The Mentor Studio, that's where you're going to learn about the business of show business. Love that. It's Thank fantastic. It's a good I came tag. up with that. Yeah, yeah I right love tag. that. That's really good. Turtle's over here taking pictures of my notes because he I'm doesn't have his <laughs> own notes. I'm taking pictures of paper, man. Yeah, you're so, so Whoa. Crazy world. <laughs> Here's a picture of paper and writing. <laughs> Here's a picture of a picture. Take a picture. Oh, Whoa. my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Mind. So crazy.